Alright, sorry about the shakiness. This video is too shaky, but I have nothing to do at the moment, so I figured I'd make another video. <clears throat> I think it was like two weeks ago, or some, or something like that, um, that I made my last video about this tank. Uh, it was about when I put that heater in. Um, let you know, like, some changes. I'm about to throw up one with my uh, 38, too, because I've got some questions I wanted to ask you guys about some uh, moss that's forming in there. Um, it's not really anything too significant going on with this tank. If you look at this, it's pretty much the only thing I wanted to show off is like, or not show off, but show you guys is how much my, um, Ritala, I think it is, is loving this tank. I mean, you've even got this bulb over here, or the, not bulb, this part, or piece right here that was, um, not, you know, doing so great in the other one. And it's already flowering up, and it's got this pink tip and everything, and then um you've got the one down here that was doing the same thing and even some ones that are starting to spring up I mean I didn't even I didn't even put those in in there I mean, those are those are starting to spring up from the from the root system so that's pretty cool and um I had to move my I mean I believe that's a dwarf sword or a micro sword over here um it's not it's not dying those are just red tips um uh, it, I mean, it, you can tell the root, when I pulled it up, the roots were freaking everywhere. They were like longer than when I put it in, and you can actually see that tiny little red leaf in the middle, which is kind of cool. It's pretty much just like just a, a plant growth growth uh, update video, and you can see all the uh, jungle val that's running. And uh, the reason I moved that sword is because all this, all this, uh, I didn't have any jungle val coming above this or coming up past the swords and you know if you look at this you've got a piece or you've got a bunch um you know bulging past where all these amazon swords are um so yeah but these two are coming up in it and you can tell like you can see like the little running vine not a vine but a little piece of plant that's like you know linking them all together so uh, i just decided to move it out in the open it was going to get taken over and then uh oh, i'll show you all this no, you can see let me get a light on real quick this is the uh, pile, and it's all dried out, I did it earlier, but uh, this is the pile of um, jungle val that I cut up earlier. Um, I had to cut out, like, or trim down a bunch of the tops of the jungle val, and so you can see it's all cut over here because it was just starting to uh, clutter up the top of my tank and uh, cut out a bunch of the light. I was just, I'm trying to get these these plants, which if anybody can name, please help, you know, help me try to figure out what they are, I can't really, never, like, nobody's ever told me what it is, but, you know, they didn't do so well when I moved them in my 38, I moved them to the back, and they lost a lot of their leaves and stuff, and it kind of sucked, but I put them in here to see if I can get them to start growing a little bit better, and, uh, yeah, so I wanted to make sure they were getting enough light and everything, and, um, like I said, I, I think I said in my last video, I was looking for, uh, nice piece of driftwood to put in this and uh, somebody on fishlore.com got a hold of me and told me that they had a nice piece um, that they would give to me uh, if I just paid the shipping cost which is really cool so I looked at pictures and it looks pretty nice it looks to kind of be about half the length of the tank so if it is that big I'll put that in and I think I move the jungle valve all behind, all behind and around it and then um, I think I might go to the river and just find a bunch of rocks like bigger rocks to put in on on the other side, um, and then it's bye bye platies because you know I feel bad. These guys are so I don't know, they're they're really lovable, but you know, it's just kind of boring having them in here. I mean, I, I I didn't even buy these. These all came from the four platies I had already bought, and so bought and that I had already bought. Um, you know, really they're they're really they're really nice fish, and they're really friendly fish and stuff. But you know, I just it's not what I want to do with this tank. I definitely don't want to have a platy tank. So I think we're going to take them to my fish store and see if I can get some uh, some uh, tetras in here. I think that's just what I'm going to do. I was, I was thinking about rainbow fish, but I don't really think this is big enough for rainbow fish. And I mean, it, it probably is, but I'd rather just do tetras. I feel like having a bunch of tetras it would be pretty cool in here. So that's what I'm going to do with this tank. And that's the update video.